Submitting an order online. Submitting an order from a template. After logging in, enter a case number and click on Search. Click Yes to confirm the case information or No to go back and enter a new case number. Click on Submit Order from Templates to use templates defined by the judge. Select a document from the drop-down list. Enter any requested information. Click the Submit button. Click Yes to confirm the case information or No to go back and enter a new case number. The template opens in an editable mode with the case information, user entered information, and service list displayed in blue. Review the order and make any necessary changes. Click the Submit button. In the pop-up box, select Yes if this is an agreed order or No if it is not. The order is added to the judge's workflow queue. Click on the text link to download a copy of the proposed order. Once the judge approves the order, it could be e-filed and e-served. If the judge rejects the order, you will get an email notification stating so. Submitting a proposed order. Click on the Submit Proposed Order button. Check Upload a new document and then enter the document title. Click on Browse to upload a new document. Select the file to be uploaded and then click the Open button. Click the Submit button. Click Yes to confirm the case information or No to go back and enter a new case number. The template opens in an editable mode. Make any necessary changes. Check the box next to Keep this document as a template to save the document for future use. Click the Submit button. In the pop-up box, select Yes if this is an agreed order or No if it is not. The order has been sent to the judge's workflow queue. Submitting an order from a saved template. Click on the Submit Proposed Order button. Check Use a Saved Document, then select a document either from the This Login or the This Law Firm drop-down boxes. Click the Submit button. Click Yes to confirm the case information or No to go back and enter a new case number. The template opens in an editable mode. Make any necessary changes. Click the Submit button. In the pop-up box, select Yes if this is an agreed order or No if it is not. The order has been sent to the Judges Workflow queue.